Hi, uh, I'm going to show you how I made this snowflake extruded 3D type image. Uh, uh, it's going to look similar to this when we're through. Okay, uh, this is the template I used. I actually, well, I made this from some paths here uh, that I made myself from a template I got from a kids um, coloring page uh, website. I'll leave uh, a link for the coloring page website if you want to uh, look for these snowflakes. Anyway, I'm going to be using two scripts to create the extrusion of the uh, snowflake. Um, if you right click on one of the paths, select tools, it's called um, the path in betweener script that'll generate all the paths in between the front and back path that we're going to use and the other script I'm gonna, going to be using is the um, stroke visible uh, paths that's from uh, that's the stroke visible path. There are both both of these scripts are Python plugins that uh, are placed in your user uh, GIMP user folder for uh, plugins. Anyway, let me show you what I did here. First thing, I click on the back path, and I want to make it larger, so I'm going to scale it. I've laid out some guidelines here to help me position it later. Okay, that's pretty good. Let me position this, make sure it's centered on the guidelines. That looks good. Okay, let's scale that. Okay, one's larger than the other. The back is larger than the front. Now, by clicking the front path and using the uh, path in betweener script we can generate the in-between paths. Now we want to go from front to back so we change that to back and I'm going to give this about 80 paths in a linear um, stretch. There's a bunch of different ones here but I'm just going to use linear and guides no and guide pass um, I'll leave that at its default and click OK and the paths are now being generated it's going to take some time so I'm going to pause this um, till we have all the paths. I'll be right back. Okay, we have all our in-between paths generated. Uh, as you can see here, there's 80 of them. The front path and the back path have been, uh, the eyes have been turned off so those are not visible. And that leaves us to stroke the um, path. Now first we want to create a gradient so let's choose a darker colored blue for our sort of shadow and a lighter colored blue so you want to be from dark to light I guess or whatever gradient you want. This is what I'm going to use and the brush, make sure you choose a brush. I have this little tiny brush, it's three by three dot that I made. So I'm going to use that to stroke all the visible paths using the gradient. So let's go image, stroke or fill visible path. We get this dialog. Now color, foreground color, we want to change this to from gradient 
we want to, I want to stroke it and I don't want well, I don't want multiple layers once it's through drawing all the strokes I just want a single layer so I leave it on single and the background of course I want that to be transparent and I'm not going to name this so I'll just click OK and it'll stroke that once the dialog disappears it should be finished shouldn't take too long anyway here we go look at the megabytes grow okay there we go now obviously we can't see it so what I'm gonna do is just merge all these visible paths and turn off the eye and there it is that's not too bad that's pretty cool now you can get different effects by moving the image you know by using uh, mapping the filter if you map to object you can move it in X or Y direction and then make all your paths from selections or then trace out the template and do it that way but anyway uh, you can also like use a lighter color to stroke the outside I do that a lot on a top layer and I stroke that with one stroke that and see it makes it just that much brighter anyway that's it take care